China's way of uh, modernization is the right way which will have a open up new opportunities for uh, investors to invest into, into China. This is uh, uh, of relevance and of uh, global interest. We are also very, very excited about the talent we find here, um, about the innovation uh, spirit, um, but also about the suppliers, um, the collaboration partners. So lots of reasons um, why. We are here. In March of this year, in Kitai, there were 18,532 companies with investments on the land, which is more than 38% higher than in the previous year. For the first five months, the actual use of the land in the capital of the high technological development of Kitai has increased by 30%. The actual investments in Kitai from France, 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 Canada and Japan has increased by 429%. 179 Für Beschränkungen und jede Art von der Risking existiert keine gesetzliche Grundlage. Im Gegenteil, derartige Handlungen sind nach den WTO-Regeln verboten. Letztlich betreibt der neue Begriff aber lediglich Window Pressing. Inhaltlich bedeutet der Risking dasselbe wie die Coupling. Die Coupling und die Risking sind wie Alice in Wonderlands, Tweedledee und Tweedledum. Du kannst sie nicht apart. Cynically speaking, decoupling and de-risking are just cogs in Washington's public relations long con. Washington repeats false information about China until people start believing it as part of an effort to convince the world that peace depends on America's continued political, economic and military hegemony. Si parla molto di decoupling o di questa nuova variante di de-risking che è fortemente voluto dagli Stati Uniti, ma ha anche le implicazioni per l'Europa. I'm not sure that China is presenting a big risk for the European Union. Uh, I remember not long time ago uh, the whole work and cooperation in the high-tech um, uh, field was seen as mutually beneficial. Now, all of a sudden, uh, people start talking about risks. Uh, what has happened? Uh, I believe that this is, uh, to a large extent, an irrational use of terminology which may have harmful effects. We have never looked at China as if it was a risk or a threat. We have always uh, rejected this kind of approach uh, in uh, Europe. Therefore, we, we can't understand why we speak about decoupling or de-risking, because if there's no risk, you do not have to de-risk. 